Thank you for finding Junk Wax Genius, a YouTube channel where a grown man opens old baseball cards and talks about what's inside those packs. Uh, we usually do two packs a day, at least two from the Junk Wax era that I call 1987 to 1994. Today we've got two packs that happen to both be from 1992. 1992 tops with the 65 cent price tag, probably cheaper now than it was then. And uh, 1992 Pinnacle, Premier Edition, Series 1. This is the first of the first of scores kind of upscale edition, uh, like their answer to Stadium Club or Leaf or uh, Ultra. So let's go ahead and rip this uh, tops in the tamper-proof kind of cellophane wrapper. No gum, you'll notice, in this pack. Not even a mention of these being bubblegum cards. A huge error on Topps' part for years and years and years. There's our scratch-off game card, and let's take a look at the actual players. We've got Franklin Stubbs, looking good with his beard. Gary Sheffield, nice. Hensley Mullins, Storm Davis, Mike Sims, Wally Whitehurst, Derek Bell, Bob Welch, Jose Canseco All-Star, Don Paul, Jack Doherty. Our top prospects card there, we've got Cesar Hernandez, Steve Hosey, Dan Peltier and Jeff McNeely, Doug DeCenzo, Jose Tolentino, and we end that back with Kevin Morton. Well, we got Gary Sheffield and we got the Jose All-Star. Can't all be winners when you've got 792 cards in the set. On to the uh, Score Pinnacle, Premier Edition Series 1 from 1992. You know it's good because it's in tamper-proof foil. And, uh, you know, it's hard to find these cards in PSA 10 because of these black borders. We've got Jack McDowell right on top, and I can feel, and you can see, the bricking. I'm really only holding on gingerly to the Jack McDowell card, and the rest are all just sticking. Let's listen. There you go. Anyway, Jack McDowell, Cecil Fielder, Dave Henderson, Get real close. Get right up close, you ASMR types. Get get right up in there. Delano de Shields. This is a pretty 90s looking picture. The double flap helmet and the high top baseball shoes. The baseball spikes of the high tops. Nice. West Chamberlain. Lenny Webster. Sidelines. I think that's also Jack McDowell. Let's find out. Yep. Good for him. Jack McDowell. A baseball card of him playing guitar. If you ever have Jack McDowell sign a baseball card, I hope you bring him this one where he's wearing the vest. Pinnacle Shades. Rockin' the Oakleys. I think that's Robbie Alomar. It is. Dave Valley. Jim Tomey, nice. If you are subscribed to the channel, and I hope you are, you know that Tomey is my uh, PC guy. So I'm going to put that one down for just a minute and try to remove that card a little more gingerly than the others. There's Felix Jose, Tim Wallach, Randy Milligan, there's Kurt Manwaring. We saw a really cool Stadium Club card of his uh, from a couple episodes ago. And Terry Mulholland. Let's pick up this Tomy again, and let's try to separate him very carefully from Pete Shurek. And uh, we'll take a look at the Tomy card. Uh, not, not too bad. So nice black borders. I see a couple little print spots there. As I like to say on the channel, PC, not PSA. So I'm not going to probably not submit any of these to, uh, to grading. But all the same, fun to imagine what it would be like to get back a PSA 10 Jim Tomey that I found on Junk Wax Genius. We do two packs today from the Junk Wax era. Please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment below, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow with two more packs from the Junk Wax era. Thanks for watching.